Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd. It's 2.30 p.m. I want to bring over the time in sales, the E-mini S&P at 2.30, trading at 19.30 and a quarter. For those of you that don't know, I was at the Ninja Trader convention and just want to give a big thank you to all the fine folks at Ninja Trader for accommodating myself and everyone else at the uh, conference in Denver this weekend. Uh, it was great to meet all the people that I've been speaking to over the years over the phone on Ninja Trader, Ryan Sindler, Danielle Yeager, John Grimala, Kyle, Dave, my longtime broker, Sean Riley, and uh, I got to meet the um, creator of Ninja Trader, Raymond Day, and that was a good time was had by all. So thanks again to Ninja Trader for hosting us this past weekend. Okay, the Auto Trader, uh, the BWT Precision Auto Trader, having quite a great day today. Before I go any further, first the required disclaimer. Okay, first up is the crude oil on the Superenco 7 tick chart, trading two contracts, hit its profit goal of 1200 and is done for the day. And you can see a couple of trades here. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the uh, Uni Renko chart. And uh, there was a couple of trades here. And it had a closed P&L of 1390 on two contracts. The NASDAQ trading two contracts on the Superenco 7 tick has a closed P&L of 780. Uh, I'm sorry, 1080 for the day. Kind of a mixed bag, but came on strong towards the uh, end here. Um, there still may be some trades today, but quite a quite a good performance trading only two contracts. Okay, the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 8 tick uh, is up 1625 today. This is only two contracts and this system is a swing system. So it initiated this position uh, just before midnight on the 22nd. And that was quite a good long trade uh, long at 1916.50 and then covered the second contract at 36.50. That's 20 points in the ES or 80 ticks in the E mini S&P. First contract taken off at 20 ticks. Okay, several charts in the bonds have done well today. Uh, this is something that I showed recently, which is the 30-year Treasury on the Superenco 2 tick, but this is using our line break algorithm. Uh, the auto trader has something that I don't believe any other auto trader has, which is our line break module. And I've been a student of line break for 15 years, and I incorporated it into the auto trader. These lines are the line breaks, and basically what a line break is, is it's, it's basically a, re a reversal system. So uh, you go short when the low of three bars back or however many bars you set um, is broken and you go long when a close above three bars ago is achieved as well for the long side. So it, it's really a simple concept uh, and it can work very well. So I haven't been following this chart for that long, but it appears to be doing well and showing some consistency. So today it hit its goal of 1500 on two contracts with a closed P&L of 1437 in the 30-year Treasury bond. Okay, the 30-year bond on the Superenco 7 tick with another feature of the auto trader that I haven't discussed much, but we have in our entry filters a session open filter and what that does is the strategy will only go short 
if price is trading below the session open and it'll only go long if price is trading above the session open. The session open is dictated by the session template which in this case is 24 7 so the open of each session is actually midnight. So this filter can be quite effective. This long This would have been a long here and it would have been a whipsaw and a loser, but because of the session open filter that it's trading below the open, it did not take this trade and stayed in the trade. So obviously helpful to how much profit was achieved today. Okay, back to the crude oil contract on the Superenco 10 tick and two trades. Uh, hit its profit goal, actually had quite a bit of positive slippage. And um, so you can see our profit goal is $1,500 on two contracts with a loss limit of 1000 And this hit its goal in a couple of trades here. So really solid performance on this chart. The uh, control center and do a recap of today's action we have the crude oil contract on the Superenco 10 tick two contracts closing at 1680 the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 2 tick with the line break module at 1437.50 the crude oil on the Uniranco bars two contracts 1390 Emini S&P Superenco 8 tick about 1300 for the day for the day the crude oil contract on the Superenco 7 tick at 1180 for the day uh, the bonds on the Superenco 7 tick with the session open filter about 906.25 for the day and the 30 year treasury bond on the 5 tick of only about 218 and then a small gain um, here on the on the crude oil that's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, uh, please visit the Blue Wave Trading website or send us an email at systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thank you for watching today.